what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video we're going to talk about friday the 13th jason Voorhees. while jason is still up in the courts waiting to be the, the rights of the franchise are still waiting to be settled this franchise has been in hell since 2009 uh not literally but we haven't gotten a film since 2009 it's been in the courts for the past couple of years over ownership and who's going to have the rights to the property and jason uh but recently I've just been digging for some things regarding the franchise and where we could possibly go once things are settled and we can finally get a new Jason film because I know Jason is one of the big three when it comes to the horror icons that people like to talk about a lot. You have Michael, Jason, and then Freddy. They were the top three that dominated the 80s, the late 70s, the mid 90s until they kind of just started dying out. And then, you know, we got Scream that revitalized the horror franchise, so on and so forth. But Jason Voorhees, an iconic slasher, um, a big mama's boy similar to Billy Loomis from Scream. <laughs> I honestly think Billy Loomis's motive is supposed to be an homage to how he's as just as much as a mama's boy as Jason Voorhees, but that's just my cup of tea and my opinion on that. But it looks like Tom McLaughlin, who worked on Jason Jason Lives, the sixth entry, which is one of the by far the better entries, because Friday the 13th, honestly is not a series full of just star-studded films just like nightmare on elm street isn't neither is the halloween franchise they're not a collection of classic films from start to bottom they got a lot of trash in there got a lot of uh guilty pleasures and got a lot of good entries it's a mixed bag of a franchise honestly but tom McLaugh tom mclaughlin who worked on jason lives he has an idea of where he would like to take the series if he gets to do this in the future down the road, he's been working on this, he states, for the past 33 something years. He talked about this last year with Bloody Disgusting. And then this past September, he actually came back and sat down with them and shared some concept art on a film that he's calling Jason. Jason Never Dies because Jason Lives, according to him, was supposed to be originally titled Jason Has Risen. But then he altered it to Jason Lives. And now his sequel idea for Jason Lives is Jason Never Dies. Now, of course, this would place us back in a different timeline. Now we're breaking and retconning. We're doing the things that we know Halloween is done. And it appears that's what the new Ron Turn movie is doing. So I know a lot of people are already probably going to be turned off by that. But keep in mind, the last Jason film in the original continuity is Jason X. That's set in the year 2400 something or even 20, 2300. Bottom line is that's set way too far in the near future. Also, we're not even on planet Earth anymore. We're on Earth 2. And based off of the way Jason X ended, we shouldn't even be trying to touch on where you could go from there. So we're kind of forced into a retcon scenario because of how Jason X was handled. Sure, you could always do a sequel to Freddy vs. Jason, but who... I don't see anyone wanting to take on that and not have Freddy Krueger involved in it, if you get what I'm saying. So Tom McLaughlin's idea, again, he said he's been working on this for the past 33 years, and his approach to this would place us some years after the events of Jason Lives. It would be set in 1999. Um, so again, it's going to ignore the other entries, of course. And Jason will be after these Catholic girls who are on a retreat due to bad behavior they're supposed to be going to another uh, they're supposed to be going to a camp for this retreat but the road gets snowed in so they end up going to another camp that's around the crystal lake area so they're not going exactly to camp crystal lake but they end up going to another camp around that area and then of course jason gets involved they're supposed to be snowed in so there's a there's a winter snowy uh vibe to it back background so we get to see jason in the winter in the snow very reminiscent of wrong turn i believe that's four uh, i like that aesthetic in wrong turn for the snowy backdrop for the movie and the fact that they were in snow and i know this is very similar to a fan film from the friday the 13th franchise not an official film but a fan film um never hike alone so yeah he had an idea of where he wants to take the franchise if this is ever settled in the courts which i know it will be eventually um he they're basically just stumbling into the snow in this camp and they're forced to face Jason Voorhees, who's at this camp. Uh, basically, he noted that his story would be in 1999. It's not going to be telling us a rather dark tale regarding Y2K or anything like that, because in 1999, you had a lot of paranoia about the upcoming year. But the tale will follow a group of Catholic high school girls who are supposed to go on a Catholic retreat over the Thanksgiving weekend. The road gets snowed in, so they have to go to an alternate camp, which is in the area of Camp Crystal Lake. It isn't the actual camp, but another one across the lake. 
Uh, they're sitting there completely oblivious that there's any person named Jason, any of the history, unlike Jason Lives, where people were savvy to it. And the stuff starts to hit the fan. These are the girls that that are on the girls that are on. These are all girls that are on this retreat because they've done a number of things that are going to cause them to not move up a grade. They have a very stern nun with them. So we all have all this kick ass girls and we're putting them against someone like Jason. So off the bat, if you look at this real, real quick here, this is one of the concept arts that he brought up during the interview. And I'll leave a link to the article so you can look at the other ones. And he brought up one of these one of these images and what i like about this is this whole idea of going back and setting it after jason lives what i like about that and why i like it is the fact that we're going back to a more dated period because that's honestly one of the stronger aspects of this franchise the fact that they're dated in they're set in the, the mid 80s to mid 90s that whole aesthetic that fits the vibe of these films i feel like what's missing or what would be lacking in a more modernized friday the 13th is the fact that we're not in that time frame anymore we're in 2010 and yada 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 and it's just like i can't i don't really want to see anything that's not 80s or 90s based for this franchise i really don't um and again what i what i find interesting here is how we have a group of girls straight just nothing but girls for the central central focus of the film and they're going to be forced to battle jason Voorhees. so we're going to have a plethora of different options here to choose from in terms of who our final girl might be but i like how this could be a statement for women in the, another statement for women in the horror genre of course um we get to see jason Voorhees in the snow and we're going back to the simpler moments of this franchise and could pay a lot of homage to what he did prior to it which was jason lives which is considered one of the better entries in the franchise so i really hope this is the next film that we get because i like this idea i would like to see this turned into a feature film i know a lot of people would be down for this because we know we have never hike alone out and we had a recent fan film sequel to never hike alone if you haven't seen those fan films i highly recommend checking those out they are some of the best fan films and some of the best uh some of the best things we actually have gotten for this franchise while we wait for an official film those those movies where jason is in the snow those fan films of him in the snow i believe they are some of the best fan films i've ever seen and if you haven't seen them i would highly check them out i highly recommend checking them out they're available on youtube so you can look at those so i know in the past another concept that was brought up was jason versus jarvis i would like to see something like that anything that's gonna we're, we're just kind of forced into a scenario we're gonna have to have something retcon ultimately i would be more accepting of a sequel to jason lives and going this approach and seeing tom mclaughlin die back into that world and that narrative that he set up in part six um that's just my honest opinion that's why i would like to see the franchise go to the next where would you like to see it go you can let me know down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video